Hi, um, I just wanted to point out this problem right here. The student did this problem wrong, um, and I'll point out the mis that mistake to them and I'll show them how the, to do it correctly. But I noticed that there's a discrepancy between your answer key and this particular problem. Um, you label the raw or the different things. I mean, the first thing is you can see you have an M here, but you have an N in your answer key. The one on the right is the answer key. The one on the left is what the student got. Um, your Q, or so like all of the letters are wrong. If we were to accurately label yours, it would be M N is 15. This guy's 15. Uh, N Q, which would be this thing, is 5. And N O is 3. And O P is X. And the correct answer for this problem right here is 6. I agree with you on that. Um, but the I guess the hard part is um, the student didn't get those same numbers um, and they will never get the same answer because they were given different parts. Um, MQ in this problem is 5, which they accurately labeled. Um, QP is X and MN is 15 and NO is 2. So let's solve out yours first and you know just to show that we can do this. We've got the big triangle over here and then the little 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 or triangle over here. The little or triangle has a 15 and a 5 and then the big triangle has an 18 because we're dealing with 5, 15 plus 3 and it's got an X on the bottom. So now I can set up my ratios and I go something like 15 over 18 is equal to um, 5 over X. So then what you do is you just say, all right, well, what's 15 times x is equal to 5 times 18. I'm not a human calculator, so I'm going to use my calculator, 15 times 18. Oh, I'm sorry, 5 times 18, 90, 15x. Why? Well, I'm able to divide that at least, and then that's 6. So that's correct. Um, now what the student got is they didn't set up the similar triangles correctly. They tried doing more of a, I, I believe they tried doing more of a similar length ratios, and that's not really, doesn't really work. Um, so as far as what I would recommend to them is I would say, all right, first thing you want to do is draw out the two triangles that you see. And let's, let's just, I'm going to use the computer to do this there and there and then what I'm going to do is I'll probably use my eraser and erase this out right here and erase this out right here so these are my two triangles all right cool so then what I would do is I would say all right well this is x plus 5 and this is um, 15 and 2 so that would be 17 over here and then this triangle has a 5 and a 15. So then I can now set up my ratios as x plus 5 over 5 is equal to, let's see, I started here and I went here, and then I'm going to start here. 17 is to 15. 17 divided by 15. And I solve 15 times x plus 5 equals 17 times 5. And distribute this 15 in distribute this or multiply 15 17 times 5 okay 17 times 5 is 85 is equal to 15 X plus 15 times 5 is 75 right yeah then subtract 75 from both sides and I'm left with 15 X equals 10 so X is equal to 10 over 15 is that correct? Yep. 10 divided by 15. And I'm, and I'm getting 2 thirds. Let me just double check that I'm doing this right. All right, let's see. 15x over 5 is equal to 17 over 15. Then I multiply both of these up. And then 17 times 15, I'm sorry, 17 times 5 is 85. And 15 times 5 is 75. Subtract those, and that's 10. Yeah, all right. My answer is 2 thirds. 
two thirds. So I'm not sure, uh, I, I'm sure that you intended to give the students this problem, but you gave the students this problem, and obviously those answers won't work out because they're two separate problems on the answer key and the student thing. So hopefully that clears something up.